Okay, we are go we are going to make an interface for this uh, EQ white search because it's just uh, bare. It's just barely working. Barely working, and it's not nice. We should put some text box. So. Let's put some text box here. Or maybe we'll just put it on top. Okay, <clears throat> let's try again this one. <clears throat> Line six error.
Okay, <clears throat> here we put some user interface, just uh, HTML, H1, form, and this, this one, uh, it is so that when we type something, when we search something like uh, intellect, The, the search term will still be here in the uh, no, in the text box. Now we want to add some JavaScript here. Uh, uh, style. And we get, we're using uh, chat GPT to create the uh, style sheet. <laughs> Let me see if I can log into ChatGPT because I am lazy to think about Let's think about I know, uh, CSS table Okay, very good Enough, enough I just need this one Copy code. Oh, there is no paste. We have to really copy. No problem. It did not work. PD. 30. Okay, wrong spelling. Vertical align. Vertical align. Save. Let's load again. Yeah, now we have nice results. I'm wondering what is the first uh... Okay <coughs> It looks nice now Maybe we can comment the Intellectual uh, culture.
Now let's look for at each the regular expression that can highlight words from an array. So let's make it a little bit nicer by making a PHP function for highlight. So good said I should teach you PHP. So I'm going to make a function here and I'm going to copy the contents. The array should be, we will explode. Explode search. The input, there's no input. And then we will make for each words as words. is a word was red code word single code slash then pattern equals single code slash top slash d state word slash D slash I then input uh, text text equals PG replace pattern <coughs> just make it bold. The alert zero. What is the other side? Single code into a uh, text. We are going to delete this one 
can just echo the, the reference. And then cut. Okay. And the contents. But here we want to highlight I like the contents with dollar s. With uh, <clears throat> now let's try. Let's try. Error in line 40. Unmatched. Okay, I think there's too many closed parentheses here. Let's try again. PG replace. Call to undefined PG replace. Where is PG replace? <clears throat> Break replace. Find constant text. Undefined constant text. Okay, this one needs a dollar. Aha! See, see, see? The the search results are now uh, in bold. So if you want to be intelligent, just type intellectual culture and see what it says. What is the best? a problem okay I found a problem if I enter a space after it it is confused now I'm curious what is the HTML what's happening in HTML Maybe we should clean the words first. Uh, trim. How to remove white space? I know it's trim, it's supposed to be trim.
for example, you will search for higher education. I wonder if there is higher education in other languages. Oh, oh, there is. Higher education. So it's okay to go to college. Yeah? Higher education. Through higher education. True higher education is that which is received by sitting at the feet of Jesus and learning Him. Okay. Ellen White has another idea of higher education. So let me discuss now what I did. <coughs> Uh, previously, we just uh, enter our search terms here on top. Now I made uh, a form, and this is how the form looks like. We have an H1, that's the header, that's why it's big, this one. And as you notice, if we make it blank, it's required. If we just enter it blank here, <clears throat> it just loads very quickly because I made a condition here if there is nothing in S S is the search term, right? If S is uh, blank we will not search anything and then So this is just an HTML form with an input uh, text type. But the value of the text type is I got it from uh, the S. So, so that, my friends, so that if you type something here, Moses, and you press enter, when it loads, Moses will still be here. Right? Do you understand? If I remove this one, if I remove this one, and we type Moses, we search Moses, when it loads, it will be blank. In Google, if you, if you type, if you say, <coughs> it shows up here, right? The search comes out here. So our, we want our search engine also to be like that. So at least when we type, we are going to use the value. Uh, because in pitch, in HTML, if you have an input and you put a value field, whatever you put the value, it will show in the inside the text. Front. So if we have the value, where are we going to get the value? From what was entered previously. So this PHP submits to itself, you understand? The, the PHP submits to itself. So when there is nothing in the, in the S, in the get S, it will just display, it will just display the form. If you view source this one, it's just this one, the form, H1 form get value, Required value out of focus. The required in HTML, it will not be you will not be able to enter unless there is something. The out of focus uh, brings the cursor there. This is just the button and the form and the style. <clears throat> so when we enter something like if we enter uh, salvation. <clears throat> there are too many results. I 
point directly silver. <coughs> I changed the order <laughs> to show paragraphs first. <laughs> So that it's easier to read. <laughs> the shorter paragraph will come out first. <clears throat> 10,000 results for salvation. So what did I do, my friends? This one, uh, the get, autofocus, and then I added, uh, I changed this mid here. I changed it instead of looping. Since there are only two fields that I want to display, I only want to display the reference and the uh, contents. So I just displayed it directly, reference and contents. Because previously, in also the ID and the length were coming out. So I just need to display, I want only to display the reference and the contents. And then furthermore, I want to highlight the words that I searched so that it's easier to read. For example, <clears throat> salvation, you want to highlight, highlight it. So how do you highlight automatically the results? This is one way I know is to just replace it with uh, the same word with B. But this is more complicated class. <clears throat> Because what if your words are many? For example, if you type intellectual culture and you press enter, it's, it's I know, this one is uh, highlighted. If you look at the code, intellectual is highlighted, culture is highlighted. So how did I do that? I used something called regular expression. And this is what it's, this is the center of that function. It's called preg replace. Okay, this is amazing class. It is, it works, it is worth one class. So this preg replace is so amazing. It can replace so many things. So let's, uh, let me discuss the manual for preg replace. For PHP manual, you just type preg replace. <clears throat> and it takes a regular expression. This is the description. You send, you give it a pattern, the replacement and the subject, and the others are optional. So for example, you want to uh, rearrange here the date. See? This one will match the first word. And then there's a space. Are you listening? This is so amazing. This one will match. What will it match? A decimal. And then there will be a comma and a space. And this one will match one or more numbers. And then backslash i means ignore the case. This is the mo one of the most amazing things you will learn in, uh, in school. It's called regular expression. Powerful. So slash between slash and slash inside is the pattern. So what will happen, my friends? When you call preg replace, this is the string. You give the string here. The replacement. See what will happen. This one will match. This is the first match, yeah? My friends, you are not looking. I don't know what. You, you just uh, look here. Uh, this is the first match, and it will be put here. And then this is the third match, it will come from here. You can extract 
data from strings using regular expressions and you can even rearrange them so that when you output it it has it rearranged so this one confused it confused us it got one april and then it put number one number one is literal there and the number three is the year 2003 this is what I was expecting to do, but the chat GPT gave me something else. Oh, this debugging me too, see? <clears throat> so I used regular expression because I asked about it, I, I asked about it in chat GPT. The first thing I asked in chat GPT is the how to make the reference aligned to the top because if you have a long paragraph here i don't like the reference to be in the middle of the <laughs> the middle vertically middle so if in html 2 and 3 you would say td be aligned top on each td in each uh, td but with css you can just make a css on top you can just make a CSS and it will influence the formatting of all the TDs in the whole document. So how do you find that out? I just asked ChatGPT and then ChatGPT gave us this one. Good idea. These days, programming is very easy. If you know what to ask, you will find it using ChatGPT. <laughs> Problem is how to ask, what to ask. You will not know what to ask if you don't know, uh, if you haven't read the manual or you found it some, somewhere else before. So I think the education now is just introducing things. When you have an idea, you know what to ask, who to ask, yeah? And it's easier now. What else did I try? So the highlight, this is very hard to explain. I will just give tip. You can just uh, ask. Chat GPT for tutorial about regular expression. It's called the regular expressions. It it matches. It can match strings and extract the match, and you can rearrange. But here we are just replacing. We match the words. For example, intellectual culture. So here in this function class, or let me explain this function. This function highlight. We just made this function. I copied the code from ChatGPT, but I put inside the function. What I want to do here is, diba here, I can just display the, no, I can just display the, let me demonstrate to you. I will cut this and I will paste it. Okay, and then I will comment the other one. Okay. This is the old version. I will just do it like this. No highlighting. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, divide like that. If you, this one is easy to understand, right? You look, there is reference, echo TD reference, echo TD contents. When we go here and we reload intellectual culture search, we just have it like this. It shows the reference and it shows the contents, right? It shows the reference and it shows the contents. And the HTML looks like this. Good. So that's the HTML. But in with highlighting, if we highlight it, I will comment this line and I will uncomment the highlight. I want to call a function. <coughs> So this one calls a function that we need. The function takes the contents and takes the search string. <clears throat> so this is the function, my friends. The contents is in text and the search string is in S. Yeah? And then this line explode space trim S. Trim S removes the is supposed to remove the extra space 
in the left and in the right. But I think it's not working. I don't know. So it will just return S without the extra space, extra space in the left and the right. And then when we say explode space, <coughs> it will split the sentence into an array of words. And it will assign the array to words. So words is an array. Array of words. Yeah, words is an array. Do you know what array is? Is there array in Java? Yeah. Okay. What are the uh, language did you study? Uh, array, you, you address it array like this, yeah? So in PHP, you can iterate or loop uh, across the whole array with the for each. So for each words, this is the array. As word, this is the current item in the array. So we are going to remove the, trim the word. I remove, try to remove the, the space before and after the word. And preg code, this one now is for escaping something that the user might put a slash inside the, inside the string. And then we are going to create a pattern. Why? Backslash B in regular expressions. What does backslash B stand for? Let's ask ChatGPT. What is backslash B in regular expression? Our friend ChatGPT Chat GPT says, Backslash B matches the beginning or end of the word. Okay. So in this miracle of a regular expression, backslash B is the beginning or the end of the word. So we will look for that word in case, in our case, it's intellectual and in the second run, it's culture. So on the first run of highlight of regular expression, it will replace uh, intellectual with B intellectual B, diba? B is for bold and intellectual and then slash B. And then it will run again, kasi my for each. And it, 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 it will replace now the culture, diba? If you find all the words that have cult, that is culture, and it will replace it with B culture slash B, so that it will become bold. <clears throat> So this is what this loop does. For each word that we type there, we will type something long. The work of education and the work of education and the work of redemption are one. Let's see if that's from Ellen White writings. You see? But the problem is, bakit hindi nakahighlight? <laughs> the highlighting didn't work. I don't know why. I think it got confused. No highlight, imagine. <clears throat> you know why? You know why, my friends? Because there is comma. <laughs> the work of education and the work of redemption are one. No, there is no comma. The work of education and the work of redemption are one. Now I'm I'm very curious why there is no highlight. Okay, this is wrong spelling. The work of education. The highlight didn't work. There is a bug that I don't know what it is. Oh, I think we broke our 
we need not say beer. Ah, I did not say. Now let's try the work of education again. <clears throat> oh, diva, diva, diva. <laughs> it highlights even the wrong things. I, I was not intending this to highlight it, but it just highlights all the words that are there. <clears throat> now we know where they copied the philosophy, mission, and vision, but they did not put reference. We should report it to Turnitin. <laughs> the work of education and the work of redemption are one. According to what do you call the, what do you call it when you copy somebody and you you don't give credit? Plagiarism. How many words can you copy without being play, accused of plagiarism? Some references say three, some references say five, some references say seven, some references say ten. So if you copy three words without uh, giving reference, this plagiarism already. <laughs> That's why I don't like the plagiarism uh, AI. Because you will run out of words. Even if you did not copy, just because you invented the same words, they can accuse you. But it's, sameness is not equals to uh, copying, right? So to to push them back, I tell them, I, I will also put your uh, examination and the uh, course syllabus and the uh, lessons in Turnitin. <laughs> diba, diba? Okay. Because, you know, how many people have been living in the day? How many, do you know how many people have been alive? How many people have ever lived? Seven billion, no, 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 seven billion is current. I think Google doesn't know. Let's ask the GPT. How many people have ever lived? One hundred seven billion. And all of them, if all of them try to type English, you will run out of things that you. <laughs> Turnitin will tell you everything that you are typing is copied, even if you did not actually copy it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so our highlighter seems to work, even if we don't understand how it works. <laughs> But I just try to explain. It just iterates from word to word. So if we type the work of education and the work of redemption, well, it's very long. It will explode into an array of words. And then for each word, it will try to highlight the result. Yeah? So it's slow. It, I think this is slow. But it works. And then we cannot, the difference between the speed It comes out, uh, how do we know how slow it is, by the way? <clears throat> Since this is advanced web, I will teach you another thing class. How to measure how fast your website is. You can open developer tools by pressing F12 here. I just press F12, it comes out, it hides. But you know this one, right? And then you click network, yeah, here. And then you erase everything, click this one. And then you st click search. And you will find out how many seconds to find the result. See, it's 2.331 seconds to find this long result. If we type intellectual culture, 1.58 seconds again. So you will find, you will see how slow your, your, <laughs> how slow your uh, search engine is, or how fast. So you can adjust it. OK. 
Okay, now let's go back. What else did I not yet explain here? Do you have any question of my code? Uh, you have uh, probably you have a loop where you don't finish the loop. Oh, the browser says out of memory or the PHP says out of memory? PHP, you check your loop. Maybe the loop uh, doesn't finish. Maybe this one, something like this one. Okay. <clears throat> You cannot find in five minutes. I will try to look. Did you take picture of this already? Oh, anyway, it's recorded. Yeah, you will find it. So this is the version two of uh, Ellen White writings. Of course, we are going to do the same with the Bible, but it's the same thing. Yeah? The Ellen White thing and the Bible thing are almost the same. They just have different query. What else can we do with this to make it nice, nice, nicer? We can change the font. Oh, we will change the font. What font do you want? Uh, like the Google font. What is the Google font? Let us ask ChatGPT. What is this font? We will copy the ChatGPT font. Arial, Helvetica, okay. HTML default font, full document, Arial. ChatGPT understands my broken English. Okay, we will just put this in the style. Body, font, Arial, sans serif, copy. Oh, no, 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 we don't have copy and paste. We have to type. No problem, we know how to type. Do you know how to type, class? Body, font, family, Arial, comma, sans serif. I don't know where the sans serif is for. <clears throat> and let's try to reload. Did not work. Fun family. Oh, it should be colon, not semicolon. <clears throat> Aha! It looks uh, nicer. <clears throat> You know what? I think this is uh, unnecessary. You see? It is also here. Oh. Diva. This one, CT, is also here. So I think no need to display the reference. Let's comment out the reference. I think we don't need to display this reference. But it's ugly now. It used to be ugly, now it's uh, more confusing. Maybe we should put a space in the paragraph. <clears throat> what if we remove the table? We don't need the table. <clears throat> Let's just put a P. And a P here in the other side also. and comment this table. And reload. What will happen? Yod. The whole Bible is a revelation of the glory of God. And 
is only the sure means of intellectual culture. Okay, if you want to be intelligent, you read the Bible. Give your children intellectual culture and moral training. 78 results. Wow, very nice. Now it looks like a search engine. But what is this? Okay, I commented uh, all the things that have something to do with table, the table, the TR, TD, and replace this TD with P. P stands for paragraph. <coughs> okay, okay. So what we learned today, regular expression. Sir Goods told me to teach you PHP. Then I'm teaching you PHP now, the plain old simple PHP. <clears throat> now I will see your code and uh, wonder and record. Uh, see how I can help you make your code. What I can figure out. Maybe we should bring it our thoughts. <clears throat> Let's put a limit, my friends. The query is too long. Order by length. Limit 10 only. It will only give 10 results. Let me check if this is the correct query. <clears throat> 10 results. It will only give 10 results. So you will not run out of memory. I just put limit 10 at the end of the SQL. Or maybe 100 if you want. So, <clears throat> so the results are cup. Thank you. 
There is no potluck in EGY dry days. <laughs> what else is this to find? Elder. This is the limit. <coughs> I just put limit uh, in the extra state.
Uy, termina. Sorry. We are finished. Let's pray. Our Father and thank you for the opportunity to learn. Please continue to lead us and guide us because we so that we can learn more. Thank you for doing our first and listening to prayer. I have a secret. When I'm slow to program, I read a few chapters of uh, a few chapters of Proverbs. Maybe three, three to five chapters. After I finish reading, I will be very fast programmer. That is just my secret.